If you have not seen my last FNAF Help Wanted ranking, I suggest you go check that one out before you watch this one, because this one is the hard modes and that one's the regular modes. Again, as I said in the last one, I do not consider Pizza Party a hard mode, so that's why that is in the first one and not this. Anyway, on to the ranking. In last place at the 14th spot is Plush Trap Hard Mode. The place I put this here is that it is the least different from its counterpart, Plush Trap, not hard mode. You're just shorter, and that's it. There's nothing else. He just seems more intimidating. Nothing else has changed. After Plush Trap at number 13 is Parts and Service Bonnie. The reason I put him here is because, you know, he's just, it's just neon. That's it. But at least it's neon, you know? It's a little bit harder to see in some parts, but overall just looks cool, and his jump scare looks pretty sick. Anyway, at number 12 is Parts and Service Chica. The reason this is ranked higher is because of the nightmare cupcake when he's running around and the cockroach is swirling you. Again, with Bonnie, it's just kind of neonish, so that's that. Yeah, that's why. At number 11 is Parts and Service Freddy. The reason I put him here is because it looks awesome. There's TV surrounding you, static, stuff is floating around. It looks like a separate dimension. When his eyes turn red, it just looks sick, okay? This uh, scenery just deserves it all. It's also a little bit hard to see inside of him, so a little bit of gameplay change is kind of cool. After that is FNAF 2. This is just the hardest version of FNAF 2. That's, that's it. Yep, that's all it is. It's also like in blacklight mode, but that doesn't really make a big difference. It's just the hardest version, and I beat it, because I'm amazing. After that is Parts and Service Foxy. The reason I put this higher than all the others is because it has gameplay changes. They say, open drawer 1, 2, 3, and 4, but they're all just labeled, they're all just labeled drawer, but they are, but they're all just labeled drawer 1, which is awesome. Foxy is burning, and all of the, the things you put into him, they're all just constantly flashing colors, and you have to put them in when they're in the right color. This adds a very, very difficult way to putting them in. And also, the lighting makes it very hard to see what color they are, which also makes putting his eyes in at the end very difficult. At number eight is Plush Baby. For some reason, maybe it's just me, the hard mode seemed easier than the last one. I'm pretty sure it's because everything is the same except for the things you're looking for. The things you're looking for are very distinct compared to the others, so you're just looking for one thing. In the easier mode, you see a bunch of things, and you have to scour through everything, look at every single thing. This, everything's the same. But I think they did do a good job with the Scrap Baby and the changed skins. It is sort of the same with all the hiding spots, but it spices it up a heck of a lot. After that is number 7, which is Nightmare Balloon Boy. This one adds a whole level of difficulty to it because there's balloons filling the entire hallway. Not only is he just terrifying, the balloons make it even more hard to do it. But I just do the entire minigame with my eyes closed, so it doesn't really matter. And number 6 is Five Nights at Freddy's 1. It's cool, it's in black and white, it's cool that everything's like nightmarish. But the door's freaking out? That's just complete unfair. It is adding difficulty, but it makes it too difficult, too frustrating, and it's not a good part for a person to add to make something difficult. If you make it so at a random point while you're playing a level, something automatically kills you, that can ruin like speed runs, that can ruin a run, a perfectly good run. So it's not fair to add that, but I, because of the other reasons, like the custom jump scares, I'll put this at number six. At number five is Mangle, just because there's two people coming after you. There's no other changes, but there's two things coming after you, and it looks cooler with the purplish hint. So yeah, and the two things make it much more difficult, making you check more constantly, and when you hear something, you have to check more than one thing, you know? You, it's gonna be harder to see them more often. That's why I put that at this spot. At number four is FNAF 3. This is sick because it's just in flames. Everything is in flames and it's also ridiculously hard, which is great because FNAF 3 originally was ridiculously hard and they put it into an awesomer perspective with the flames everywhere and it's just so hard and so awesome and I love it. At number three is Funtime Foxy. The way that it's Lulbit and that there's so many other things that can't hurt you and you have to look for Lulbit, it's so creative and amazing. It's just that you see you see Lulbit, but then there's a bunch of different things and it's terrifying because they're all standing, but you know they're not going to hurt you and it just makes me have an existential crisis. At the number two spot is the Withered game mode. This 
is by far like one of the best game modes. This just adds to my favorite mini game, FNAF 2, and just makes it so much better. They add all of the withered animatronics with all of their jump scares. They even have a difficulty switch to go between easy, normal, and hard. It's amazing. You can play with so many things and the animatronics clipping through each other is so funny. Anyway, that's why I put the withers at the number two spot. And at the number one spot, again, is entered because it turns you upside down and adds so many twists. There's spring trap crawling through the hallway, so many extra things like a Fred bear head when you're going down, so many things. I don't even count how many, there's so many. Like, and then when you win, he jump scares you, which is a completely different thing from the original ending. There are so many things. Spring trap crawling when you're doing the first puzzle. It adds difficulty, it's just so good, oh my god! Anyway, yeah, that's the ranking of the FNAF Help Wanted Hard Modes. If you want to see the, uh, the, the Halloween DLC, then I will definitely do that. Be sure to comment, give me DLC. Just comment exactly that if you made it to this, just comment, give me DLC. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye